Haunting cries in this unverified video reportedly remembering the man who first sounded alarms about the coronavirus. Dr. Li Willyang died from the virus nearly two months after he went public about his findings. Despite his discovery, he was silenced by the Chinese government. Now his story is invoking anger towards the state. This woman says... He was the first one who found out the virus, but he then received reprimand from the police. I think people still don't have enough sense of potential threat from the virus. And this woman... I deeply regret his death and feel sincerely sad for him. We need to see if the influence of his death can wake up anything, and I hope he did not die in vain. Li first raised flags about the virus on December 30th, but Chinese authorities tried to cover up the problem and forced Li to sign documents stating his findings were false. In rare defiance of the Chinese government, citizens are questioning the government's response and handling of the outbreak. Citizens have been expressing their anger online and on the streets. He left us when we needed him to fight the novel coronavirus and the pneumonia, and he was a victim of the virus too. At the meantime, he was criticized and unfairly treated because of his report, so we feel very sad and regretful. The World Health Organization, which has commended China for its response to the coronavirus, had this to say when asked about it at their briefing today. today we all mourn the loss of a, a fellow physician and, and colleague, uh, medical worker, and uh, we have we suffered similar losses with the death of Carlo Urbani during SARS. Uh, so we feel that loss, and I'm sure his family, his colleagues, his friends uh, do too. Lee was 34 years old when he died. Only 39 days after, he sounded alarm bells. Nigel Newlove, City News.